Okay, so this is my first playthrough on brass. Uh, I'm playing it solitaire right now, and I just want to kind of document this along with uh, all the other games I play solitaire and have started recording. But uh, I think the key here is, yeah, you're going to see situations that you don't expect. Uh, remember, this is my first attempt at it. One thing I'm noticing, looking at the victory point chart, the little hats stand for the victory points, whereas the uh, circles are the income. You'll see an inverse relationship between uh, income and victory points. I think that's part of the game design. I haven't studied it very hard. I'm um, just sort of playing it to get a feel. But I think what you see is uh, a nice little setup where you have to make that kind of choice. Do you want to get victory points? Do you want to get um, uh, income? Now, yellow's income is so piss poor that I think they're in trouble. Um, they made some errors, uh, pieces they weren't able to convert to anything. Um, on the other hand, purple's uh, income is, is is the top, but their victory points are lagging heavily, and they're not that far ahead in income. So I suspect they're not doing well either. Uh, in terms of the actual layout, uh, the main thing we have is that huge yellow uh, link of canals. Now that's all going to go away. That's just the way the game works. Uh, and then we, as we enter the rail area. Um, green also has a strong presence. And purple started out over here. And then worked where they could. Uh, so much is driven by the cards where, uh, you know, you pull something and you say, ah, oh, now the circumstances are such, I want to build something new here. Uh, anyway, I think, uh, I think I'm beginning to get a feel for the game. It's cute. Uh, I know you probably think I'm crazy for playing this solitaire. Uh, I think I probably enjoy it more solitaire because I'm not a very competitive person. Anyway.